I should have made like a seaside base or something with a teleporter. That would have been nice. Well, we can go over to the Oasis base. I should also be on the lookout for more Warden keys, that's right, because I have the detector. So, I don't know where I'm supposed to be looking for those. Kind of special spots? Actually, come to think of it, the Meteor Crater is probably a good shout for that, right? So we found... where did we find ones currently? I've got a couple. Yeah, there we go. The big shiny thing that pops in. Right, Warden Key. I can't remember how many of those that I need. I really should have done more on the frogs and stuff, but... I don't know, it just seemed like a lot of work to use the incubator and stuff. And the amphibians didn't really seem to count for much. You can just pick up some special frog eggs around the place and you just do those just to get some some more kind of special flavor around the world. Rather than dedicating too much energy into making them yourself. Uh, so there's the mushroom biome that we've already kind of plundered basically. Um, here's another one. This is a rent. I expected there to be one over by the waterfall instead. Not here's kind of a an odd spot for one. I guess it's near that that opens up. So that makes some amount of sense. I think that's like four now. Where would the others be? I wonder. Um, lava biome, maybe? I'm not sure where. There was like the sort of stone circle place. Oh, there's a cave over here. Have I been in here? Not sure. I want to just keep my jetpack on. I'm just, you know, just, just floating above lava. No big deal. There's a crate. Oh, there's a golden crate down there. Interesting. Well, here first... Oh, a energy multiplier fuse. Those have been useful. And I'm running out of space now, because of the other stuff that I picked up. Um, is there a safe way in here? Because that lava is very close. Golden effigy, which is a fuse. Production multiplier. Pulsar quartz. Golden seed, of course. Tier 4 mutagen. Yeah, we're, uh, we can put the bacteria sample away. Just take those. Honestly, the bacteria sample is probably more useful than these plants, but then the hardest part is getting out again without burning yourself, I feel. Okay, well, I don't have any more inventory space for uh, any warden keys now. But I also haven't encountered any, so... Here's the other dude's base. Fairly sure I cleared that out. Or at least everything that I wanted from it. Oh, here's the warden key here. It's right by the wreck. Okay, well, we shall... Did I leave a teleporter up here? Or did I put it somewhere else? I think I put one further around, didn't I? Uh, well, let's put plants in here that we don't really care about. Grab that. I feel maybe there's like one per biome. Maybe in the zeolite like starry sky zone uh there's this place here that has the the other dude's base just need to look for anything golden shimmery the whole color palette around here is kind of weird i think i cleared out everything from here no no i really didn't okay there's still space food in here <laughs> right Space food, water bottle. Sure. I can always drink one to get rid of it later if I want to. Oh, there's still super alloy and stuff. Okay. I, I left a lot of stuff here, it seems. I guess I couldn't carry it all at the time. I was just exploring. I was looking for the obsidian more than anything at the time, I think. And osmium. Interesting. Alright, well. Is this sort of weird intermediary zone? 
that it's not a clear and distinct biome itself, it's just these little rocky pillars. Oh, here's another cave. Alright, so we've got a couple of explosive caves that we still need to come back to. This is kind of a special oasis area. A warden key could be around here. What else is there down here? Have I been here before? Fusion reactor. Have I been here? Air class, six months since the crash, barely surviving, build a rock and leave this place, cursed. I think there was a secret room in the control bay back to the crash site. Deconstructible wall so many of the main screens. Oh, no, I have not been here yet. Or if I have, I did not interact with this at all. Wow, okay. Uh, I guess i got to come back here sometime. That's wild that it's just hunkered down out of the way down here. Alright. Where was his crash site originally? A deconstructible wall behind the control room. Huh. Okay, then we've got the ring zone over here. We've got the crashed satellite was down there. We've got another crate here, which I have not completely plundered yet, but I must have come across it earlier, I think. Well, I want to head back to base now. But I don't think I have a teleporter here. It's probably something down in the canyons. Four point nine two, we're almost at five. That's the side effect of just randomly exploring, just looking for stuff, is uh, my TTI is still ticking up. Would there be a warden key around here? It hasn't really changed. I feel that they're generally in places where there's been change affected. I haven't really seen any differences around here. Maybe over this side? You can't even see them from that far away. You've got to get pretty close to them, I feel. Nope. Oh, shimmering. There we go. I'll just drink that water. <laughs> what a waste, but whatever. I could have just come back here. It's not that far from base. Alright, we should go see how many of those I have now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we've still got quite a few to find. Extraction platform. There we go. Reach complete terraformation. Well, I'm still getting bombarded by things, but we'll go out inside and see if that's changed anything. Has the crafting been completed? It has now. Um, 5.06 TI. Five was what we needed. So we are now done. So now we just need to explore our ending options. But we're still putting tree seeds down for some reason. Because that's just what I do. <laughs> um, but yeah, I believe now that we're hit that particular TI, the 5 TTI, uh, our job is basically done. <laughs> so I should check my messages. Surely I should have like some congratulations from uh, the Sentinel Corps to say well done, you've finished. Um. Well that's mildly inconvenient. <laughs> we now have a tree blocking our door. You weren't there a second ago. Oh you're one of the trees that I just planted I think. That's a slight problem. Uh, I guess that isn't the front door anymore. <laughs> How about if we put a door down upstairs here? There we go, you can fly out over our solar panels. <laughs> uh, almost. Almost full. Uh, so what do we need to make an extraction platform then? Energy multiplier fuse? Well, I have a spare one of those actually, so that's kind of handy. Yes, now my door is up here. That That doesn't work either. I'm not sure where I should put my door now, but that doesn't work. We might just have to come in the back all the time. 
or like go out this way instead. That's that's probably better anyway. There we go. Omphra, uh, super alloy rod, uranium rod, and iridium rod. Cool. And now we can build our extraction platform. Do we have any messages? Anyone congratulating us? No. <laughs> All right. No one cares that we we oh it class that's the one we just picked up from there. No one cares it seems. <laughs> maybe after we build the platform, maybe that's when they care. I uh, don't think I've asked you what Subnautica runs you've got a record time on. Uh, I don't think I have any world records anymore. At one point I had a bunch, but then Ruby started running, and Ruby's much better at the game than I am. So. <laughs> Uh, but I probably still have some. <laughs> Alright, we have our extraction platform. High interference levels detected. Please destroy interference source to be able to receive extraction. Okay, and then we have a container of things we can take with us too. Interesting. Sentinel Core. Congratulations. Sentinel indicate you have successfully terraformed your assigned planet. However, monitoring indicates the planet has an anomaly that prevents us from colonizing it. You must destroy this anomaly before using the departure platform so our ships can extract it. Please receive the recipe from an explosive device able to do this task. This is not an automated message. Well now. <laughs> okay, so we've got large explosive device now. Place this under the warden's anomaly and trigger it to be able to leave the planet. I know where that is. Yeah, an anomaly. Now the thing is, is that if I do the warden ending instead, surely I don't need to do that? So if I take a look at what I got from here... If you want to join us, use this chip to find hidden tin keys we left behind on this planet and place them in an extraction capsule. So now's where we get to choose what ending we wish to partake in. There's different endings. There is different endings. There's at least two. Um, but let's just go and blow up the anomaly anyway, shall we? And I also need to look for some more warden keys while I'm doing it. I don't think it matters if I destroy the anomaly. I think you can still do the warden's ending. It's just you don't need to destroy the anomaly in order to do their ending. Why do the interiors look like the sun? I know, and it's better than it was. Uh, the lighting in this game has always been a bit weird, but as the terraforming gets more and more complete, the planet just becomes more and more bright during the day. You also get dark nights. Okay, you have I collected you yet? No, I have not. Okay, that would that would have been the easy one to get. Now the interesting thing is, is I burnt a bunch of extra warden keys early on. I wonder if you already know what the ending is, whether you can just use some of the other keys and not open up these other places. Because there's three keys in here that you then use to unlock the northern area, northern warden zone, that has the golden butterflies. So if you don't do that, <laughs> which you don't have to. So we place that down. And we press the button. Ten seconds. Run! <laughs> so we'll get that out of the way. That's basically the equivalent to uh, disarming the gun in Subnautica. We don't have to get stabbed. We just blow it up. <laughs> Tell me this game is still being updated. It is. Um, they did an update that added just normal sized explosives to access different caves around the world. Um, and a bunch of other stuff. Just bug fixes and things. It's quite incredible the amount of effort they have put into this, quite frankly, because it's like a two person team. It's quite, a, quite impressive. <laughs> like, it's not without its faults, that's for sure. It is by no means a perfect game, but it's really well done considering, that's for sure. Alright, that's that bit out of the way, so we just don't need to worry about blowing stuff up anymore. Crash satellite, I'm fairly sure I've interacted with you before. Yes. 
Okay, there's got to be something down here, right? Yes. Cool. And some squash seeds that I left behind a long time ago. <laughs> Oh, there's some, some super alloy here too, just lying on the ground. I never cleared away everything, it seems. Well, that was silly of me. Shouldn't have left super alloy lying around. I was really hoping, though, that the sand would dissipate. That it wouldn't be a sand fall anymore. Oh, there was osmium here the whole time. Well, I think it had to melt, to be fair. Have I been in here? No, no, I have not. All right. That's funny. Let's take, take care of all of that. But I was kind of hoping that it would turn into water even and be just like a big cascade like in Niagara Falls. Just falling down into a big lake area. That would have been nice. I'm not sure why they didn't do that. Because to have it still be just kind of all dusty and sandy is kind of weird. I needed explosives, that's right, in order to unlock some other places. Nope, I haven't been to you either. Alright. Tears you fertilize is good, I'll take that. Actually, to... none of that stuff matters anymore. What am I talking about? <laughs> I don't need to take any of that stuff. None of it is useful anymore. Um, I don't suppose there's another pedestal around here somewhere? No? Okay. That's kind of weird. I expected there'd be one up here. But uh, I don't see one. So let's go through to the arches. Let's work our way around to the north. I do genuinely want to try and do like a full uh, terraformation speedrun on this too at some point. Here we go. I figured there'd be one of you in the oasis. So we need one more now, I think. Just one more. Where would I find another one? Another message received, alright. Uh, is there any like special island that stands out up here that might have a pedestal on it? Not sure. Got a little base up here. Oh, here we go. Alright, so it's right by my base here. Oh, I've already picked that one up. Okay, I must have found that when I was going past here. Alright, so if there's ten of these things, where's the others gonna be? So we found one there. We found one there. We found one there. Found one around here. One over here. There's one there. There's this area. There's this area. We found one there. It's the ravines we can try. I think there's some caves down here that we never really fully investigated too, quite frankly. There's a zeolite thing on that bit. I think there was a golden chest on top of one of them as well. I can't remember. Oh, I see a flickering. I see a little silhouette of a man. There it is. Have I got you? No, there we go. That's probably 10. Uh, there was a cave over here with like iridium or something. You're a frog floating in midair. Well done. <laughs> yeah, there's an iridium cave in here. Was there anything else in here? there was a chest I've probably already got it oh ah they've expanded out the back of this that's interesting interesting I can kind of see my way through as well does this just go oh it probably just goes through to that biome as well it's just a, another entrance to the the red tree biome um I don't have any explosives on me I need to make a bunch of them and just come back around and do just another round essentially so, where's my container? Here. That's 10. Yep, so that's all I need for that one. So that's that ending technically unlocked. I believe. Uh, messages. What else have I got here? Messages. Another message from Sentinel Core. Anomaly has been successfully destroyed. Use the departure to be extracted. We will then re-examine your sentence based on the various deviations from the rules that could be attributed to you. Sounds sinister. Let's go and save the game by the rocket shall we wrong rocket <laughs> where did I put the extraction rocket again over this way there we go 
I think it auto saves anyway, but just in case, save. Now, if we go here, it just says Sentinel Core. Oh, we didn't bring the keys with us. I wonder if I could pick up all of my trophies too. So, keys, and then let's pick up all of these. As many as I can carry. I know there's more of them as well. I, I didn't find all of the golden effigies. But I've got a decent number. <laughs> so we can take them with us. So if we stick those in there, and these, I don't recognize as different ones, that's interesting. There we go, leave the planet, trust that some wardens are still alive and will accept you. It seems like a risky strategy, but what are they going to do? They were non-violent, so that probably seems pretty safe. So let's do that. And up, up, and away. Oh, we have a big giant spinning portal in the sky now, apparently. <laughs> How did that get there? I guess it was always there, and it's just the keys allowed us to see it. Do those who follow us know that our destiny is that of doom? <laughs> doom music intensifies. But some of us still believe that giving up is not an option. Nice rainbow caves. We will see what Providence has in store for us. A warden. Mm, there we go. Problem is that then the gate is just left there and Sentinel Corps know we were here and built the platform, so are they going to come and investigate? I guess the idea is if you don't destroy the anomaly, then they can't, and the planet is safe. But if you destroy the anomaly, technically you're just opening the way for the Sentinel Corps to follow through the portal, which seems unwise. But never mind. We did the stupid ending. <laughs> Now, I believe that it also saves so that you can jump back. Yep. And we can do other endings. There we go. So the Sentinel Core is the, like the default ending. So that's where we do this. <laughs> and you get, get, get to see it again. But now we have different spaceships in the sky. At which point the question must be asked, why do we need a rocket if we're just being... If we're just getting picked up by a big ship like that and that's like one of the big crashed wrecks as well and the shuttles and stuff are the ones that we find but it's like we're just launching our rocket through the ship wouldn't they just come and pick us up <laughs> who knows Says we terraform this planet yeah because if they wanted to colonize the planet surely we don't need to be extracted we just need to send a message <laughs> Now examine your sins based on the various deviations and rules that could be attributed to you. For the moment you will remain under detention while your case is examined. Yes, yeah, so you just go back to prison basically. <laughs> not the greatest ending for you, but not the worst either, I guess. You know, that's the by the book ending. It still doesn't make sense to me that you would uh, need to launch off the planet though. You, also, you can't skip this. Which makes speedrunning the game a little bit annoying. <laughs> and back we go again. Now, there is a third ending that I do know about because there is an achievement for it. And I always like to look at achievements. This looks like it's the weirdest forest ever. That's one of those trees that grew up in our front door. I think it's an important thing to note that you should be careful of where you put tree spreaders in this game. Unless you already have your base well established. And maybe make your front door like on an upper level like this. Like if I had my front door going into that room there. Then it would never get blocked. Which is kind of handy. You almost need to have a an underground for like storage or something. And then uh, make your main base of operations on the second floor. So you're never kind of blocked out. Um, but yes, you should be mindful of where you put tree spreaders because they won't grow into your base, but they can block things and it'll prevent you from expanding as well because you can't build through them. You have to then remove the tree seed from the spreader in order to progress. Uh, yes, anyway, what was I saying? So there is a third ending and the third ending requires that you have a lot of terror tokens. 
Now, Terra tokens are hard to come by. Let's deconstruct our portal machine, because that gives us some things back. Uh, we can't deconstruct our extraction platform, of course. Um, what else could we deconstruct? Fortunately, we can't get rid of anything that we previously redeemed for. There's a lot of fuses around that we can clear out, though. So if we go to, like, our machine optimizer over here, these are each worth 2,500 tokens. There's another one over this way. <laughs> Through the dense thicket over here. Where is it? It's also nighttime, which doesn't help. Somewhere in here there's a machine optimizer. <laughs> there we go, we found it eventually. With plant fuses, so let's get rid of all of those. Uh, we can then go over here and get rid of our uh, pressure fuses from these big boys. <laughs> our massive drills that we put down. God, these things are absurd. Well, let's get rid of those. And we could actually just deconstruct the drills themselves now as well to reduce the power drain. It's just super alloy. Yeah, you. They didn't even need that much stuff. That's the other thing. But like once it gets to the rob stage, let's go stuff those in a locker over here. So if we can reduce our power drain, a lot of the other things don't use that much power. But the giant drills use quite a lot, and the machine optimizer itself. Even if it's not got any fuses in it, it'll still be draining power. So, let's put those away. Cool. Uh, these are worth six Terra tokens each, but that's not much. Uh, uranium is worth eight, which is slightly better. Let's go pull our heat fuses as well. And then we can take a look and see what power drain we've got. A lot less, I imagine. And then we can just yank our energy multiplier fuses. And our production fuses for our, like, silkworms and stuff. So here's our big heaters. Get rid of those. Get rid of those. Yeah, they, they used a lot of stuff. In fact, we now have some super low rods on the ground. So the best way to get Terra tokens is generally to explore, like, wrecks and portals. I've deconstructed the portal generator for now. Um, we might still put it back if we feel we need to. But otherwise, for now, that's no longer an option. But all of these fuses that I've been using this whole time, we can now trade, essentially. Our power usage should be much less now. So we should be able to yank our energy multiplier fuses. Three energy multiplier fuses is 15,000 terror uh, ter tokens. Let's yank those fuses and then see what we're left with. Well, we... Oh, there we go. Power down. <laughs> I was about to say, well, we haven't lost power yet. There we go. So, okay, yeah, consumption is still way too much. A uh, lot of tree spreaders. A lot of flower spreaders. Which we can just get rid of, a lot of those. New message received. There we go. Now, I'm not quite sure what triggered this. That's the tricky thing. I don't know whether it's because it's a certain amount of time has passed. Previously, I've gotten this when I've gotten about 200,000 Terra tokens. I only have 136,000, but I do have a lot of potential tokens on me. I don't know if that gets taken into account. Last message, done all I could, our options are very limited. I advise you strongly not to trust Sentinel Corps as they have shown multiple times how unfair and oppressive they are. They could not care less about you or any other conflicts. I've managed to contact a smuggler's ship and they are willing to take you on board for 250,000 Terra Tokens and 5 Solar Quartz. Collect the correct amount of Terra Tokens and fill your departure platform inventory with the required quartz to board with them. They are untrustworthy too, and I can't guarantee you anything. Your future is uncertain, and despite all you went through, what lies ahead might be even harder. I would like this to be a happy ending, but life is not fair. <laughs> so, that is the third ending. Where we can get some smugglers to pick us up. Maybe. Well, they will pick us up. 
they they may not just kill us. <laughs> Um, but we do need to get 250,000 terror tokens, which is why I've been yanking all my fuses. So, far. So, there is... How much in there? Doesn't even tell me how much there is in there. I thought it usually did. Terror to current inventory value is 16. Uh, I'll say the inventory value here. Yeah, 22,000. Which probably still isn't going to be enough, quite frankly. That's the that's the thing. Well, I've already sent off my uh, energy multipliers, so tough. 